update you very briefly on where we are with the cycle track uh, in this area of the city. This is what we call volume two. What I have done is um, I have printed out actually the drawings uh, of the work, the construction drawings, plans. That uh, what happens is the, the drawings are broken up by section uh, North Washington Street, and Carter Street, and so on. So uh, if you're if you're comfortable looking at plans, the construction plan shows you everything that's going on, which is basically a total reconstruction. So we're not only putting the cycle track in, but we're putting in new uh, street lighting, new traffic signals, um, we're repaving the road, um, we're redoing the sidewalks. Um, and um, doing and blaming and taking a lot of time putting in stuff right. Um, I brought just an overall uh, view, and I'm going to leave this with you for you can have it here or toss it. I will send you a, a, a PDF of it as well. Um, what this shows is the work by section, so you'll see a page number page 29 and in that package there's a sheet that's page 29 that tells you everything that's happening in that section. Um, what's happening right now with the pink is basically the work that we've completed which means we put in the new sidewalks, we put in the new curving, uh, the curve is at the outside of the um, cycle track and then there's a delineator strip between the cycle track and the sidewalk. Uh, so we've got all of that in except for the final paving of the, of the uh, cycle track itself, which is something, uh, it's, it's permeable pavement, which means that it's part of the drainage system. Uh, a little bit different product. It'll, look, it'll just look like asphalt, but it's a little different mix that allows water to seep through into the perforated pipe below the cycle track and the edge of the drainage system. Uh, the green is uh, the other thing that's happening on the walk the land side of um, the commercial street is we're um, rebuilding all the intersections so that um, the parking has more of a barrier between the traffic and so. And right now we are working to charge through that attention panel. And, uh, uh, pretty much each one of them, or some of them, also get new traffic signals. And so the reason we look, we're kind of at so many is that trying to get these foundations for the mass line, which is kind of looming over the street. It's very hard to get a lot of the underground stuff in because there's so many utilities. So we've ended up having to do a lot of investigation and then redesign something that's going on. Okay. and trying to get utilities um, to move huge duck banks is just uh, not happening easily and it really doesn't make much sense because then you need something else to do. So we're there. Um, uh, we are moving into the block between Hanover and Battery and the reason that green is um, is uh, split like that is we've actually determined that there's a portion of that sidewalk which is very nice brick that we're going to cut and paint. And then um, we're, we're under um, ADA requirements to put in a completely accessible path through the city as we do, um, uh, we do improvements. They don't like to, uh, if you're in a wheelchair, the goal is that you understand why. This brick is in very good condition. It's, it's uh, very smooth, so we feel like in that location, we can get that will help us move on a little further as well. Uh, it's between Hanover and Battery. So you know there's that fancy hotel there? So their brick, we're going to be able to maintain most of that, except for we're putting in the wheelchair. Then this is the portion of the work that we still have complete work to do, which means all new sidewalks, all new curbing, all new sidewalks. Once we get past um, 
So the track will be done, but the roadway itself, Commercial Street, gets a repavement as part of the government's money that we got to do, which is nice. Um, and the new lamps are all up. So um, that, that's the only thing that you can do. Yeah. Okay, and then this last section. We're, you know, right. we're going all the way down to the land. Yes. That will be done this spring. Cool question. Yeah, the land side of the Well, the land side of the land, yeah, we don't touch except for those intersections. However, down here, uh, between North Washington and kind of going toward Charter, we actually have some money to do um, a freedom trail improvement. So we're actually going to be able to replace a couple of blocks of sidewalks on that side of the street. Uh, but then beyond that, it's just a little bit. Um, the cycle track is one way or two way? It's two ways. It's two ways. So you'll be removing the bike lane from the other side of the street? It's already gone. When does yeah. yeah. Swan Strassen get done? Who's going on first? I mean, if I step off my door, I'm going to have my door okay. each way and pass. Okay. Okay. So I'm glad you brought that up. Because there's two things I want to say. One is that Boston.gov has a new website, as Maria mentioned. And if you go to Boston.gov and you go to departments and you go to public works, the first thing I want to say is you'll find something that's longer than this with the screenshots, but I'm going to do so much. Um, you'll find Connect Historic Boston, and you can follow on a period basis what's going on in construction. And I'm going to email this link to uh, Ford so that can go on your... And on our website, we'll make sure that everyone gets the my question. My question is, once the bike path is finished, and you got a clown right on the sidewalk or in the street, what's the purpose of the bike path as long as they don't force it? Well, okay, so, you know, I'm not an interpretation. I know, I don't know what the theory is, is that when you've got the cycle track, and, we, and the cycle track, um, you know, we actually have which means you have stop signs. So the there'll, be, there'll be signals for the cycle. For the cycle. As part of this. Yeah, part right. of it. So the idea is that if you get them off the road and they you treat them more like a car, you'll have better compliance. You're always going to get the jerk who thinks he's, you know, you, right? <laughs> you know, so then, you know, call uh, 311. 311? 311. Because I know the police aren't going to be interested in this. No, 311, that's, that goes to Boston Transportation yeah. Department, and then it gets it gets circulated to the person who should be responding to that complaint. And they will, you know, if it's if it's happening enough, they'll find some way to send an inspector out to see what can, what can change or how can be better mind. I also want to say this is a, our third or fourth meeting on the bike way. So we're going to continue following this. So as it gets built and implemented, if there are issues that come up, um, and there will be, we're going to we're going to continue to have forums. We'll have you back. You know, I, I think I have to cut it now because we've got such a full agenda. But really, thank you very much for coming. Uh, it was, it was really good. There's a stack of my cards here.
really yes. any question, just email me or call me up. Okay, so she likes phone calls. Yeah. Yeah.